Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the three steps of respiration. Um, so the three steps are pulmonary ventilation, which is really just breathing, external respiration, and internal respiration. So I'm going to discuss each of them separately. So starting with pulmonary ventilation, it's simply the act of breathing. So it's the flow of air in and out of the lungs has nothing to do with the exchange of gases. So there's no actual trade of oxygen and carbon dioxide at this stage. It is simply referring to the flow in and the flow out of air from the lungs. Um, so pulmonary ventilation is a function of the respiratory system. Then the next step is external respiration. So this is where we have the exchange of gases at the respiratory membrane. Uh, and I have another video where I went into more detail about respiratory membrane and the exchange that takes place there. So I am including a link to that video in the description below. Um, but this is where we have an exchange between the air that's filling the alveoli in the lungs and the blood that is in the pulmonary capillaries that are kind of hugging the alveoli. So we have an exchange between the oxygen in the air and the carbon dioxide in the blood they exchange and cross to the other side so that the blood becomes oxygenated and we're exhaling air that of course still has oxygen in it, but it also contains all of the carbon dioxide that we are trying to get rid of. Um, so this again is a function of the respiratory system. Now our third step is internal respiration, which is also referred to as cellular respiration. So at this point, the oxygen is flowing through the blood. So the blood has been oxygenated and it's being circulated by the cardiovascular system. So when we have the exchange of gases between the oxygenated blood in the systemic capillaries and the cells of the body, and then the cells of the body are putting their carbon dioxide out into the blood to be carried away back to the lungs, that is called internal respiration. So that's the third step of respiration. Now that that is a function of the cardiovascular system. So all three steps have to take place for our cells to be properly oxygenated and to be able to dispose of their carbon dioxide waste. But the first two steps are functions of the respiratory system and the final step is a function of the cardiovascular system. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and hope you have a great day.